photography, one of the world's best and most accessible hobbies. Today everyone is a photographer. We all carry a small device capable of making still and moving pictures. Our phones. And every day millions of pictures swarm on the internet. Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook. Tons and tons of selfies, pictures of dogs and cute cats. But hold on, doesn't it require at least a real camera to call yourself a photographer? Of course, that's something I'd say if you asked me like five years ago. But these days, one thing I know for sure, photography is a skill. And once you acquire it, no one should tell you how and with what you should do it. Of course, even the best phones are rather limited in terms of optics and sensor size. So if you think seriously about photography, it's kind of natural to have at least an amateur camera. And here comes the fun part. Whenever it's in micro four thirds, APS-C or a full frame, as long as you have fun with it, you shouldn't waste your time arguing with others which system is better. If you feel good with what you have, never compare yourself to others. Let your pictures speak. At some point I caught myself changing lenses and cameras and to that point that I didn't even think about mastering the ones I had. Yeah, I mean, it's good to try different things and see what suits you best, but it's easy to fall into a trap where you focus on the gear instead of scale. At this moment, I do own a full frame camera as well as an APS-C, well, the two APS-Cs to be precise. I really like the Sony A6100 for casual shooting and for video, but I absolutely adore my GR3X. And they are both great cameras and can be used in many situations. It's a really great way to enjoy photography if you can afford having a full frame and a smaller APS-C or micro four thirds, so you can choose each system depending on the circumstances. I do love the depth of full frame, but I'm absolutely blown away by some people that shoot, for example, the micro four thirds systems like Olympus. The OMD E10 Mark III paired with the 45 1.8 is a killer combo that many people use and produce extraordinary results. I heard some photographers say that you shouldn't be attached to any camera because it's just a tool. But for me, the connection you make with your gear is just as important. I think the camera reflects your style and the way you approach photography. So whenever it's an APS-C, a full frame or a micro four thirds, as long as you're content with your camera, you should enjoy and master it. Of course, if you live from your photography, it's a different story because sometimes you need to focus on the specs and pick the ones that will get the job done. However, as a passionate photographer, I really liked diversity and I would never say something like my camera is better than yours because it's full frame or something like that. Many people forget that photography is about the emotions your pictures bring out, not about the most perfect photo. My advice is forget the pixel peeping, focus on the feelings and the mood. Focus on your style and keep your passion alive. Keep on shooting, no matter what camera. <laughs>